everybody, here we go again. Today we are talking about ordering real numbers. And we know that real numbers are fractions, they're decimals, they're irrational numbers, as well as rational numbers. So you can have some weird square roots like we worked in last lesson. Um, and we're gonna put these in order from smallest to largest, largest to smallest. So step one. Well, let's look at an example because that's just the easiest way to explain this. If they give you four different types of numbers, like you have the square root of eight, is the square root of eight a perfect square? No, definitely not. It is an irrational number. And then negative 3.75, 3, and 9 over 4. And I needed to say, put these in order from least to greatest, or in ascending order. The first thing I want to do, kind of like back years ago when you were comparing fractions and decimals, we want them to be in the same format. In this case, decimals is going to be our go-to. So I want to convert all numbers to decimals. And for that, I'm going to reference a lot of lessons we've done so far. So first, I'm going to go with the easy ones. This one is already done, so that's done. 3.75. 3, well, that's just 3. But then 9 over 4. What is 9 over 4 as a decimal value? 2.25. 2.25. Now, when I deal with the square root of 8, save that one for last because we're going to kind of reteach last lesson. What is the smaller square root that I know about? Square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? 2. What's the next one up above 8? Square root of 9. What is the square root of 9? 3. So if I am on a number line, and I have 2 and 3, where is the square root of 8 going to fall? Closer to the square root of 4 or closer to the square root of 9? It's going to fall closer over here somewhere. So if this is here and this is here, that's going to be, I don't know, somewhere in here-ish. So what is a decimal value in that location? We're going to go with 2.8 for this one. So we're going to say 2.8-ish. It's not exact. Remember, it's irrational. So my next step, after they're all in the same format, I'm going to put them in order. So step two, I'm going to put in order Ascending means from littlest to biggest. Ascending is going up. Descending, de I'm having a blank, that might be spelled wrong. Descending is going down. So for this one, let's say, put them in ascending order. Out of these four numbers, which one is the smallest? Negative 3.75. Which one is next to smallest? 2.25. Which one is next? 2.8. And lastly, three. Not bad, right? Then the last thing I want to do is put them back in their original form because the questions 
are not going to have them in decimal form. So you need to make sure that you put them back in the order that they or in the form that they were in the beginning. So step three, revert back to original form. So negative 3.75 was originally negative 3.75. 2.25 was originally 9 over 4. 2. Point, sorry, 2.8 was originally square root of 8. And 3 was 3. So to put these numbers in order, we had an irrational number, we had a negative decimal, we had a whole number, and we had a fraction. So anytime they give you numbers, you want to convert all of them to decimals. Be careful with converting to decimals. Make sure you're doing it right. Then pay attention to if it's asking for ascending or descending. Put them in order and put them back in their original form. We're going to keep this one short and sweet so that you have lots of time to practice. If you have any questions, hit me up and don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.